A few days ago, I showcased on our YouTube channel how to use what I was coining no code instant nerf. Now it truly wasn't no code because if you needed to prepare a video or a folder of images to be able to train a nerf, you had to do a few lines of command line. And to some people, that is a daunting task. So in this video, I decided to fix that and show you a few batch files that I created that you can download today and drag and drop files into them and go from a video or a folder of files straight into Nerf training without having to touch any code. Let's get into it. The first thing you're gonna need to do is go to my GitHub page where I'm hosting the batch files that will script everything for you. I linked this GitHub page in the show notes to this YouTube video. The first thing you'll notice, there's only a few files that you need to download. We have the nerfphotos.bat and the nerfvideo.bat that you'll need to run the drag and drop instant nerf. And if you go through the readme, you'll see that I have requirements that you'll need to satisfy first, such as downloading instant NGP's Windows binaries so you don't have to compile the code yourself. You'll need a Kudu toolkit. And if you wanna run DLSS to get a better visualization, you'll need the Vulkan SDK. And this is all linked in here. I do suggest going to NVIDIA's actual instant NGP repository to get the official links in case these ones become old. Then I'll show you how to install it and run the batch files. It is super simple. Let's go through it now. To get the files, you're gonna click on code and then download zip. Then you're gonna open up that zip folder and hit extract all. And you can let this sit in your downloads folder or wherever you choose. And inside the zip folder, you'll find that there's four files, but you really only need two of the files. You'll need the nerfphotos.bat and the nerfvideos.bat. And you're just gonna grab those two and I'm gonna cut them out or you could copy. And then you're gonna go to the folder that you unzipped your Windows binary of instant NGP and just paste those right in there. So now I have two new files along with the instant NGP, EXE and other required uh, folders. And I took a screenshot of that on the GitHub page for your reference. Okay, we're almost there. The next thing you need to do is find a source video that you wanna turn into a nerf. So I picked a video that is in a different local drive on my computer, just to show you that the video can be anywhere. You don't have to move it into the instant NGP folder. You're gonna grab that video and we're gonna drag it straight into the nerfvideo.bat file. A windows protected during your PC may show up, just click more info and then run anyways. And you'll be prompted with one question. The only question you really need to answer is enter the FPS value. What's that asking is how many frames per second you wanna to extract to use as training data. And so aim for 150 to 300 photos in total for your nerf. For this one, it was a 30 second video, I believe. So I'm gonna pick two. That should give me about 60 images at the end to work with. Hit enter. And the first thing I'll ask is, do you wanna replace a folder that has, says images? This doesn't even exist, but I'll say yes. And it'll extract those images. And then I'll say, do you want it to run cold map? Which is fine, hit yes. And we are starting to prepare images from that video. So if I go to that folder of the video and we see I have this video here where I'm walking past a brick wall it has extracted images from that video and is now preparing those to train for a nerf. And you can see on your screen that it is running through everything you need to do to start training the nerf. And once it's done preparing these images, which takes a few minutes, it'll automatically kick off nerf training. So I'm gonna fast forward the video to show you what it looks like once it's done preparing those images. Okay, now it's just finishing the data preparation and automatically it will open instant NGP and start training your data. This looks really good. And from here, you can do anything you want. You can create a video, an animation path, you can change your training parameters and so forth. But that's all you need to do. You just drag a video 
into the batch file and it'll do everything for you. Now I didn't mention that if you don't have ColdMap or FFmpeg installed, it should prompt you to install and add those to paths. So you're gonna to wanna to do that. So now we've used a video, let's show you how to use a folder of images because it is slightly different. So if I close the instant NGP and I find a folder containing images like this one, I grabbed 12 images from that brick wall, I can use this as well to train a nerf. And you still need to figure out where these images are in relation to each other. So in this case, you wanna make sure you create a folder with just the images in it, and that's it in a subfolder because it's gonna write what's called a transforms file and place it in this outside folder. So don't put this somewhere, this folder on your desktop. I would make a folder and then a subfolder with your images in it. And again, I'm just going to drag and drop this into one of the batch files. So if I go back to the instant NGP folder and I grab this, this folder of images and drag it into nerf underscore photos dot bat. Again, you'll be prompted to run this the first time, click run anyways. And it'll ask you, do you want to replace the, the cold map files? Uh, I don't even have those, so I say yes. And it'll kick off and you'll see it'll start making some, some cold map files if you don't already have that installed. And now it's going to prepare the images. And since I only have 12, this may only take a minute, but I'm gonna fast forward the video and show you what happens once it starts training. Okay, so now it's done preparing the images and it's training. Again, we have that same brick wall, but only 12 images, so it may be a little blurrier. But again, that's all it takes. Drag that folder in there and it starts training immediately. Now, one thing I want to mention is that it creates this transforms.json file, and that is the file you need to kick training off again once you've already prepared the images. So if I close this instant NGP window and then start out an empty one by double clicking on the instant NGP.exe, you'll see nothing's in the window. I can just drag the transforms.json in there and it'll start training automatically. Now, if I close this one more time and start another empty one, I can actually go to the one I made from the video as well and drag that one in. And from the video, it should be in the same folder as the video. So drag that in and we're training. So once you've gone through this batch once, you're done. You just need to find that transforms.json file and pull it in. And you can move that transforms file anywhere you want. Just gotta keep the rest of the imagery where it is. So don't move your video, don't move the images, don't move anything, just leave it all where it is. And you can easily pull it back in for training. So there you go. Now we went from instant NGP where you had to compile code to a no code version to now drag and drop and you're instantly making your first instant nerf. I hope you liked this video. If you found it informative, please follow the YouTube channel. We'll be making more of these periodically as we see updates to Instant NGP, Nerf Studio, or the other different software of choice. And we'll also be adding a lot more on capturing images for 3D reconstruction and so forth. So I hope you like this and share this with someone else and see you in the next video.